Some cars on the East Coast are frozen in floodwaters this morning. Other areas will continue digging out from snow. The storm has now moved on. But as Hannah Doba explains, today may actually be the day that will ultimately be the most hazardous. A woman in Hull, Massachusetts, being rescued by a front loader. The first floor of her home flooded. As if the snow and wind brought to the East Coast by the so called bomb cyclone weren't enough. Boston and coastal areas nearby also experienced historic flooding. It was pounding. It was hitting the seawall and going above the telephone poles. Nearly 500 National Guard members were called in to assist with flood emergencies in several states. Most places, though, are still digging out from the snow. Plymouth, Connecticut got caught off guard by almost a foot and a half. We thought we were going to get about six inches. The accumulation in Maryland was so bad in parts that even these two snow plows got stuck. And in New York City, the iconic lights and signs of Times Square were barely visible during the height of the storm. And making a bad traffic situation even worse, this tractor trailer was left spinning its wheels while blocking an intersection. And while this round of snow has passed, the bigger danger may lie ahead, as extreme cold is expected to freeze anything that hasn't been shoveled away. Officials all down the coast are asking people to stay off the roads. Police officers in typically warm weather states, like here in South Carolina, are particularly worried about drivers who've never had to deal with icy conditions. Unless you're driving a Zamboni, you're not going to be able to control the vehicle, especially at higher speeds. Many of the states hit with snow yesterday may be in for another round early next week, as a system developing in the Pacific Northwest makes its way east. Anadoba, CBS News, New York. Most airports closed yesterday are expected to reopen today. Thousands of flights were canceled because of the storm. Well, you can see why this plane in New York was coated in ice. No fun out there for sure. We oh. have, you know, we feel like we're tough here in the Twin Cities in Minnesota, and we've been through very cold temperatures here, but mm -hmm. uh, the winds and the snow, uh, it's, it's a different deal. You do. You certainly there. feel for yeah. the folks out east. Well, the world's toughest road.